Welcome back. In this video, we will learn about modules and packages. A module is a pre-written code containing definitions of variables, functions, and classes. A module allows you to logically organize your Python code. Grouping related code into a module makes the code easier to understand and use. A package is a collection of related Python modules. Technically, you can create your own modules and packages, but the Python programming community had made things much easier by developing a growing set of commonly used packages that are readily available for download. Python standard library of modules is available as soon as you install the program. Do you remember the built-in function type we used earlier in this course? We used it directly and we did not have to write down code manually to find the type of input assigned to any variable. Similarly, we used the int or float functions to convert the input into a different type without writing any code to do that. These functions were part of the standard library that was installed with Python. Whenever we start a new Jupyter Notebook, a set of modules is executed automatically that contains built-in features like the type or int functions. Python has a broad practical applications and the programming community has developed modules applicable to diverse fields. So rather than installing all of the modules, we need to install modules that are useful for our specific needs. Soon we will specify the libraries relevant for our financial analysis, but first let's see how to import a module. If we want to find the square root of any number, we would need to import the math module. It contains multiple mathematical functions including the sqrt functions which calculates the square root of any argument. This module isn't a part of Python standard library, but is installed when the whole Anaconda package is installed. So to use this feature, you must import it. Type import math. Once you execute that line of code, math module is ready for use. To find square root of, let's say 25, we need to use sqrt function. Type the name of the module, math dot operator, that is sqrt, and 25 in the parentheses, and we obtain 5. Another way to import module is to type import math again and add as m. Accordingly, m.sqrt of 25 will result in 5.0. Let's say if we just need the sqrt function from math module. We can type from math import sqrt as s. The syntax allows us to remove the name of the module and the dot operator when calling this function. You can just type s and 25 directly and will obtain the desired result. Shorter names can be time saving. You can learn more about the various functions available in the math module by typing help with math in the parentheses. The description of all the functions will follow. If you are interested in any specific function such as sqrt, then you can simply type help open parentheses math.sqrt close parentheses. Let's look at the libraries we will be using in this course. NumPy is the favorite module for anyone using Python for scientific computing. NumPy is an open source project aiming to enable numerical computing with Python. You can find more information about NumPy at numpy.org. Another module that we will widely use in this course is Pandas. Pandas is a package that enhances NumPy even further. Pandas represent a powerful way to organize and process data. This package makes it easier to manipulate larger chunks of information. It allows us to organize data in a tabular form and is excellent for working with time series data. If you are wondering about the name of the package, it is derived from the econometric term panel data. Another important module that we will use extensively this semester is matplotlib. This is a two-dimensional plotting library specifically designed for visualization of the data. It contains a large set of tools that can help us formatting any plots. The other modules we will use are math modules for mathematical calculations, random which invokes the random number generators, and a stats model that contains an extensive library of descriptive statistics, plotting functions, regressions, and much more. All of the modules we have discussed thus far are included with the Anaconda package. 
One of the modules, pandas underscore data reader, that we will use this semester is not included in Anaconda. If we try to import it, we will get an error message. We need to install it first. To install this or any package, we need to type pip install and the name of the package, which in this case is pandas data reader. When the operation is done, we can readily import the module. We are speeding up now and I think we are ready to solve real-world financial problems using Python.